Be not afraid, tread lightly, we're all the same, altered slightly, do unto others, judge not your brother, feed the hungry, love thy enemy. Welcome, I'm Ricky. Welcome to my channel. I've got some notes and downloaded messages for you before I get into the reading today. So we have Mercury going retrograde on August 4th and it's in the shadow now. So this is a review time. It's a life review. Um, and oh yeah, I'm pet sitting in Asheville, North Carolina and one of the dogs Winnie and Dakota are here, so you may see the other one pop in to say hi. So we have Mercury going in retrograde, and on the same day, August 4th, we have a new moon, which is new beginnings. So there's going to be a bit of a life review happening um, until then, and ongoing for quite a bit. Mercury is going to be in retrograde for quite a bit, I believe a month and a half. I'll have to check that. But the biggest astrological happening coming up is the 888 portal. So August 8th, 2024, which equals an eight, is going to be a very powerful time for changes. So the energy, and here are the downloaded messages. Well, part of the energy is quite simple. It's like the Nike commercial, just do it. You know, if there's something you know you were to put on this earth to do, you are being challenged and asked to do it. If you know your purpose here is to serve. Oh my goodness, dog. You gonna settle down? Come on over here. Good, good girl. Okay, we have. <laughs> Not used to that, huh? So if you know that it is your purpose here. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, six of pentacles. Relationships. That is going to be part of what you are healing. And if you know that you are here to be of service, if you know that you are here to be in front of a camera, if you know that you are here to speak your truth, to sing your truth, to write your truth, to dance your truth, you really are not only going to be asked to do it, but you're going to be asked to sit still and listen to the exact how, the means, how. Um, and they're just saying, you don't have to, of course, but there will be support for you. If you do what is nagging at you, there's going to be a nagging for a lot of us who are actually ready to make a change for the better in our lives, to shift, to join hands with um, love, and be of service in a way that makes them activated and shine, not in a way that um, encourages sacrifice or, um, you know, duty out of, uh, you know, I have to do this. No, no, no. This is really wanting to come out of the, yeah, the space of stagnation and come into the light. Channeled messages. What makes you happy is your destiny. The unconscious hidden hurt is ready to come out and be released, so don't hide from it. Plan to sit with the discomfort. That is not scary. It's not scary to sit with discomfort. It's uncomfortable, but so worth it. Just acknowledge it and sit with it until it passes. And then you will know that it is you who has the power to release, forgive, let go, heal, and live a good life. Again, what makes you good is your destiny and meant for you. Don't try to make your destiny what someone else's path or joy or destiny is. More channel messages. Source comes to us each in a unique way. What is good for you could repel someone else. And if you don't speak the truth of who you are to these people who are different from you, 
then they miss the opportunity to expand and grow and you were put in their lives for a reason. So speak your truth. This really is a time of speaking your truth, singing your truth, dancing your truth, writing your truth. Um, yeah, and there's just support for you to shine your light, however that looks. Another thing that came out in one of my calls today was the question is, what's the difference between a master and a teacher? And the answer is, I'm sorry, a master and a student. What is the difference between a master and a student? And the answer is, the master knows he's a student. So the point is every day to wake up like you know nothing and ask to receive the direction for the day from your own heart, from yourself, from the quiet inside yourself. Okay, so that's what we have for our messages. Let's get into the reading and see what other messages want to come through. Thank you for being here. <laughs> here we go. The Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Fool, and underneath Justice. So the thing I love about this card, which is your energy, is that there's a line that has been drawn in the sand, which means a decision has been made or needs to be made right now because there's support in the universe. And the decision is to let go of the shadow to, or as another friend said today on a call, to transmute the darkness into the light. And that is the journey, y'all. Transmuting that, you know, darker energy and sometimes it does take a warrior in your eyes to come out of the darkness and overcome the world and you are ready to kind of take that bird's eye view and be the witness and the observer of all the drama that is happening don't buy into it you can be at peace no matter what is happening in the world and underneath it does say you will succeed. I really love this chord. And for me, I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, getting on stage again. And this girl is on stage. And there is a whole stadium of people cheering her on to speak her truth, to sing her truth, to give her gift to the world. And you're being asked to do that in whatever way that looks like for you, whatever way that stands out to you. And however that looks like for you, you're being asked to do that right now and you have, you will succeed. The, the thing is, the energy is here for you to succeed if you choose the path of your destiny now. And they're saying, you know what you're here to do. There is no questioning it, there's no guessing it. You know it, and I mean, this is a time of, you know, unveiling. The unconscious is being seen. Let's take, for instance, the world. The ego is no longer hidden. The, you know, the desire for power and control um, and long time past views, old belief systems that um, threaten you know, death and punishment for not you know, doing certain things or believing certain ways or saying certain names um, or you won't get into heaven. Like it's, it's things like that. They, they really are being unveiled for the lies that they are. And we are being asked to just relax. <laughs> relax and sit back and watch the show because really it's, they're saying this is a movie and you can either direct the show, you know, or be a, in the seat of the audience as it passes, or you can get involved and get all hyped up about what's going wrong in the world. But you don't have to. You can ground yourself, connect to your source, and get quiet and still and listen for the messages about what you can do to make yourself and the world a better place by taking care of yourself first. And then you will be shown how you can help others. Those are the messages. <laughs> Okay, so the first card that did come out is this Eight of Swords, which really, I want you guys to understand this card looks painful, but it's an illusion because she is perceiving herself and she's looking at herself in the mirror, seeing all this, you know, she's a prisoner. Her hands are tied. She can't see. 
The, the ravens represent conflict and the conflict is literally binding her. She's bound by this conflict. That's what I'm reading in this card. She believes all this is true, but the fact is she's right here. And that is her, look at her wrists. They're not bound. Look at her eyes, they're open. So what they're saying is this is a shift in mind. It's just a small tweak and it is, it really isn't, this energy isn't asking for you to stand up with your fists closed saying, we're not gonna take it anymore. No, it's a song, we're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. So that that is a a step, okay? The, there is a step of fierce warrior energy that comes on this journey. But many, many of you here watching this read, reading have already taken all that energy and gotten through that stage and really expressed and released a lot of anger and sadness and darkness. And if that is the case, then it is time to look at, she's bound by threads here. She can untie herself. It's just an illusion that she's trapped. So that's what they're saying. It's an illusion of being trapped and bound. You are not, you can change your mind and be at peace. That's what they're saying. So, because it came out with the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is an offer of love. So someone or something is calling out to you, and it's very loving. It's very loving. But your energy here is just a little bit defensive. <laughs> and I'm not saying that, that it's not... Um, warranted because you've been through a lot. This is uh, the Nine of Wands and it's the Wounded Warrior card. And it means you've been through the muck, mucked through the shit. It's been a journey. It has not been easy. They are acknowledging that. But there is something in you. See that flame she's holding? There is something else for you to do. And it has to do with your heart this time. Okay, you have built a bunch of wands, nine of them in fact, through your life, you know, building foundations, grounding yourself and, and right now they're asking you to open up your heart to something that you love. That's what they're asking. Your angels, guides, the universe is asking you to open your heart to something light and bright instead of the darkness and the warrior. They're wanting you to come out of there and, and look down upon it as an observer and say, yeah, I've been through it. I see you. It's been hard. But there is an energy out there that's available to me that is lighthearted, open-hearted. And there's some kind of dimension or reality or mindset that I can walk into that is lighter, playful, loving, different. And the energy is here to support success and victory. Six of Wands, that card, look it up. It means success and victory and recognition. And if you don't want to be seen, it's just talking about the spirit is going to is recognizing that you've worked really hard and and the spirit and your angels and your guides want to they want to love you they want to hold you they want to congratulate you they want to tell you good job let's let's be like children with eyes of wonder and expect something different in the future and i do believe that the more of us who do expect the good i believe that good is an energy and it attracts itself. And I believe that conflict is an energy that attracts itself. And I want you to practice with that, seeing that when you allow, you know, lightness into your heart, how much more rolls in after that. It's kind of like, it can't help itself. It has to seek itself out, love, you know, and conflict does the same. So, this card that's come up is saying that this represents a stuck energy. You know, you've built three wands. You, this girl is completely fit and in shape. 
She's got her hair tied back. She's got her surfboard. She's really ready for her journey. She's prepared because she's got all these three wands represent that it's time for her to go on the journey and she's stuck. She's been thinking about it for so long and she can't, oh, well, first let me, you know, I could get my arms stronger. My legs have to be, you know, do I have enough food? You know, this is just, this is the energy that they're asking you to come out of. Why? Because you're starting a new journey. This is a zero. The fool is a zero. This tarot deck and all tarot decks are called the fool's journey. They start at a zero and they go all the way through a life experience of tower moments and shocks and hardships and love and loss of love. And at the end, it all is a healing star, healing light, light and love. Any movie you watch will go through a journey. Not all of them end well, but it's called The Fool's Journey. And it's it shows the journey of a lifetime. And some of us don't get to that star healing bright light until we pass on from this body. But some of us do it in this lifetime, in this body. And they're saying that you are beginning a new journey and that it will never be like it was before. And it actually won't be as painful as it was because you have gone through a whole journey already in your lifetime and you're starting a new one. And you have all this wisdom and all this life experience that you've gained to make different decisions this time, to nurture and care for yourself and speak lovingly to yourself in your mind along the way. You have the ability to open your heart. You have the ability to let down your defenses and open that gate and let other people in your life. You have the ability to get on that surfboard and get in the water and start your fool's journey. She has to jump off a ledge to do that. She has to jump off a ledge, meaning she can't see what is in front of her. And it's going to be a new dimension, as you can see. She doesn't know if the water is going to be cold or hot. She doesn't know if there'll be people like her or not. She doesn't know if she's going to like it. But she's got her crystal in her hand and the light of heaven surrounding her. And she's got the attitude and energy. And you can see that from her yellow dress, that anything is possible. The fool is careless, carefree, and cared for by the divine, by the source, by the creator. And it is time for us to start trusting that the creator has a bigger plan, a plan that we can't see. And that plan is of good. It's of love. It's of light. And it is beckoning us to let go of all we fear and start to have a little bit of faith that love and light will persevere. <sighs> I'm trying to think if I should pull another card or just in the reading. I'm going to pull another one. Because I was just telling someone today if it's not a definite yes, then it's a hard no. And I really like that. I really like remembering that and living by that. If I'm not sure, then it's no until I am. And that's okay. We get to take our time. We get to decide. Just saying. <laughs> so you have imagine and serendipity. So they're really wanting you to imagine the possibilities here. There is a series of fortunate events, luck, miracles, If you can see it in your mind and believe it in your heart, that is manifesting, y'all. That is the power of manifesting. Did you know what manifesting is? It's not, please God, give it to me. And it's not, screw you, I'm taking it. 
Manifesting is knowing that you are loved, knowing that there is a bigger plan that wants to give only good to you. And it's, it's really connecting with that source and lightheartedly, gently, with warmth in your heart, believing that you deserve the things that light up your heart. So whatever childhood dream you had, whatever, you know, when you weren't, you know, this energy, God, I've been through the muck and I can't even move. I mean, she, she's like, you're not passing. I, and, and I understood, okay, understood. But they're saying there's something so much softer that wants to love you. It wants, like there's a, an energy that wants to love you. And if you just can start to see it and believe it, you're gonna start to witness miracles. You're gonna start to witness and experience change in your life, in your world, in your heart, and in your mind. Yeah, those are the messages that I have for you. If you reap what you sow, I'm in trouble deep. Live in the world, walk down Wall Street, or live off the earth, tending God's sheep. Bless me, keep me, when will this make sense?